Hello, sports fans. It's me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke. And today I am here with game three in the series between the 1987 San Francisco Giants and the uh, 1990 Cincinnati Reds. And we will get some setup done here. And then we will be on our way. Uh, the series, as you may or may not know, is tied currently at one game apiece. They split the two games in Cincinnati and now they move to San Francisco for game three. And uh, today on the, uh, on the mound four, the Cincinnati Reds, and I'm getting to that, will be um, Tom Browning, Mr. Tom Browning, who in 1990 was 15 and 9 with a 380 earned run average. And opposing him will be Kelly Downs of the 1987 Giants. Who in 1987 was 12 and 9 with a 363 earned run average. And uh, so, with that, we will be getting underway. Billy Duran is up. And he gets a 2 4, which is a fly ball to left field. So there's one away. Barry Larkin is up. He gets a 3 8. That's a single. So Barry Larkin is aboard with a hit. And Cincinnati has their first hit of the game. And next up is Hal Morris with one down and one on. And he gets a 4-6, which is a strikeout, two away. And Sal Bando's up. He gets a 6-8. And that is a single one to nine. And that is actually going to be an out. It's a line out to second base. And so the Reds get a man on, but nothing more than that. In the first, and they come up with zero runs. We go to the bottom of the first, and Jose Uribe leading off for the Giants. And he gets a 6-7. That's a single one. And no, it is not. It's a line out to third base. One away. Will Clark is up. He gets a 3-10, which is a ground ball to first. Two out. And Kevin Mitchell. Kevin Mitchell gets a 6-6. Six, six. That's a triple 1-2 to two or a double. And it will be a double. So there's a man on second with two down for the Giants. And Jeff Leonard up and he gets a 5-7. And that is a strikeout. So the, uh, the Giants go as quickly as the Reds did, getting one man on, but doing nothing other than that. And we go to the top of the second. Eric Davis up for the Reds. He gets a 1-8. That's a fly to left. One away. Glenn Bragg gets a 2-8. That's a home run. 1-14. to 14. And that is a home run. Glenn Bragg. And he gives the Reds a uh, one-run lead on the first hit. Or on the second hit for the Reds. And it's 1-0 Cincinnati with Billy Hatcher up and one down. And he gets a 2-9, which is a ground to short. Two out. Herm Winningham gets a 3-6. That's a strikeout. And that's it. And uh, Browning, or, or um, uh, Downs, was really not known for giving up the gopher ball. In 186 innings in 1987, he only allowed 14. So, Michael Drette is on to hit for the um, San Francisco Giants. He gets a 4-6. That is a single. So, while Drette is aboard, doesn't really have the greatest of speed. Chili Davis up. He gets a 1-10. That's a pop to third. So, one down, one on. Rob Thompson up. 3-7. He hits a fly to left. That's two away. And Bob Brenly is up. He gets a 5-9, and that's a ground ball to the second baseman, and that's that. 
As San Francisco gets no runs in the, th the second. We go to the top of the third, and Joe Oliver is up. He gets a 3-8. That's a single, Joe Oliver. We kidding Joe Oliver got aboard. And that is the third hit for Cincinnati. Billy Duran gets a 4-9, and that is a fly ball to center. And by the way, I forgot the hit for the Giants. Fly ball, or fly ball to left field. So, one out, Barry Larkin up. He gets a 3-6. That's a double one to eight. And it isn't, but it's a single double asterisk. So, runners are at the corners. Fourth hit for Cincinnati. They're stacking those up. Hal Morris is up. He gets a 2-2, which is a pop out to second. Two down. They can get out unscathed here if Chris Sabo gets out. He gets a 1-5, though, and that's a single that scores a run. And the Reds take a 2-0 lead. Eric Davis up. He gets a 3-8. That's a strikeout. Right between a lot of traffic, but still an out. And they go to the bottom of the third. We go to the bottom of the third with the score. 2-0 Cincinnati. Eddie Milner up. He gets a 4-2. That's a fly ball to right. Or wait a minute. No, that's a pop out to short. One away. Wrong pitcher. Jose Uribe gets a 5-7. That's a strikeout. Two away. Downing, quite good in um, 1990, although he did give up more hits than innings pitched. Will Clark up, and he gets a 4-5, and that is a fly ball to center field. The Giants go down quickly. We go to the top of the fourth in a 2-0 Cincinnati lead here in game three of a tied series at one game apiece. And Glenn Bragg, who homered last time, gets a strikeout this time. Billy Hatcher gets a 2-9, which is a ground ball to the shortstop. Two away. And Herm Winningham gets a 2-9, and that's a fly ball to center field. So, no runs come in for the Cincinnati Reds in the fourth, and we are going to go to the bottom of the fourth. Kevin Mitchell up. He gets a 6-10. That's a, that, no, wrong guy. That's a pop out to short, one away. Leonard it gets a 6-2. That is a walk. So, Jeff Leonard's up with one on. Or, uh, Jeff Leonard's on with one out, and Aldrete gets a 2-10 ground ball B, and now Aldrete is there on the fielder's choice at first base. And that brings up 6-11 ground ball B for Chili Davis. And we are going to the top of the fifth. And the game is moving along, and uh, it's getting late for the uh, for the Giants, although they are only down by two. Joe Oliver is up. He gets a 2-9. That is a strikeout. One away. Billy Duran gets a 3-8. That's a walk. So Bill Duran is on with one down. Larkin up. 4-11. That is a strikeout. Two away. Downs really not pitching that poorly, but his team is down by two and only has one hit. Six eight is a single one to nine for Hal Morris. And it isn't. It's a line out to second base. So everything packs up there and we go to the bottom of the fifth. The Giants looking for anything really. Rob Thompson gets a 4-8 and that's that's anything. That's a double one to four or a single. And so they'll take the single. They're happy with the second hit and a man aboard with Bob Brenly up. And Bob Brenly gets a 2-7 which is a strikeout. One out. Eddie Miller gets a 2-3 which is a ground ball. Second base double play. That ends the inning. No runs come in for the Giants. We go to the top of the sixth. Chris Sabo is up. He gets a 3-3, which is a ground to second base. One away. 
Eric Davis gets a 211, which is a ground to shortstop, two away. Neither team really has been big at hitting this game, this series. And Orton, definitely this game. Glenn Bragg gets a walk, so he's aboard with a walk. And Billy Hatcher comes up. He gets a 410, and that's a ground ball to the third baseman. And the third baseman for the Giants is. Um, who is that? That is Mitchell, and he's a four. And that's a five. That's going to be something you got to believe. It is a double two. So the Reds have runners at second and third with two out. And Winningham up. And he gets a 4-8, which is a single, and drives in another run. And I'm actually two hits behind and a run. So let's get that run up there. And Joe Oliver's up. He gets a 3-5, which is a double. And we can see where this is going. They've got two runs now. And uh, Bill Duran up. And that's a 1-9, which is a triple 1-2 to two or a double. And that's going to double in both runs. The Reds were patient, and that, that paid off. They didn't try to take the extra base. And that was actually a good idea. As they got, uh, they're now ahead 6 nothing with Barry Larkin up. And he gets a 4-6, and that's a strikeout. So we're going to the bottom of the 6th in a 6 nothing route so far. Jose Uribe is up. He gets 111. That's a pop out to second. One out. Will Clark gets a 2-6, which is a double one to 18 or a single. And that'll be a double. So that's only the third hit for the Giants against no runs. And Kevin Mitchell comes up. He gets a 4-8. That's a single. Now, they need base runners. They don't need to extend guys and take a chance on them getting thrown out. Especially not with... Um, especially not with an out in the inning. They need to try to... Uh, get as many runs in as they can. Jeffrey Leonard up. 3-11, that's a ground ball, double play, and it doesn't work. He hits into a double play that ends the inning. And they come away with nothing for the effort that they started. And we go to the top of the seventh, and there will be a pitching change. Kelly Downs is coming out, and they will bring in Joe Price. My man, Joe Price. When all is lost and you need a guy to eat some innings, go get Joe Price. Hal Morris is up. He gets a 3-5. That's a single. I mean, I'm sure Joe Price doesn't like being viewed that way, but that is the reality of the situation. Chris Sabo is up. He gets a 2-9, which is a ground ball shortstop double play. Two down. And Eric Davis gets a 5-8, which is a strikeout. So there's two down. Or there's that's the end of the inning. And... Uh, he did, though, Price did strike out 42 men in 35 innings. And in fact, in 1987, Joe Price was 2-2 two and two with a 257 earned run average. So maybe he's really not the guy you want to bring in as uh, garbage innings, but he is the guy who happens to be in right now. Cincinnati got no runs in the 7th. We go to the bottom of the seventh. Mike Aldrete, Aldrete comes up 6'10. That is a pop out to short. One away. Chili Davis gets a 2 6, which is a strikeout. Two outs. And Rob Thompson gets a 1 10, which is a pop to shortstop. So they get nothing in the seventh. We go to the top of the eighth. Glenn Bragg is up. Price is still out on the mound. 1-5, strikeout for Bragg. One away. Billy Hatcher gets a 1-11, which is a ground ball to the second baseman. Two outs. Price pitching quite well. Winningham, 5-6. And that's going to be a strikeout. So, the Reds get nothing in the eighth. We go 
to the bottom of the eighth. Bob Brenly, Browning looking to get a complete game. 3-6, there's a walk. They have a man aboard. Eddie Milner gets a 4-11. They just cannot get some good rolls here. They do hit it to, to right field, though, and that is a 4. He is a 4, and that's a 16. 16 and 4 in the outfield is a single and air batter on second. So the uh, the Giants have something going here. No outs, runners at second and third. You rebay up, and he gets a six-two, which is a walk, and the bases are loaded. And there is some activity now in the Reds bullpen. They have Rob Dibble getting up. Clark is up. He gets a five-three. That's a fly to left. The left fielder is a little better. Let's see who that is. As a matter of fact. Uh, the left fielder could be Eric Davis, and uh, no, it um, actually it is. It, the left fielder is a one, so that's a 19 and a one in the outfield. It's probably, a, no, it's a roll again, and that's a 14. 14 and a one is an out for runner's hold, one out. Kevin Mitchell up. He gets a 2-4. That's a ground ball double play. Unbelievable. They had the bases loaded with no outs and they come away with nothing. And Al Oliver is up. And they're going to take Price out. And they are going to bring in... There's going to be a pitching change for the Giants. And they will bring in Scott Geralt. Joe Oliver up. He gets a 1-7. That's a strikeout. One out. Bill Duran gets a 5-4. That's a strikeout. Two away. And Barry Larkin gets a 2-5. That's a single. And that is the 11th hit for the Reds. Hal Morris up. He gets a 5-4. That's a strikeout. And so the Reds are going to go to Dibble. They had him warming up. So why not bring him in? And even though this isn't really a save situation, it is a tournament and they want to lock it down. So Jeff Leonard comes up with a 4-10. And that's a strikeout. One away. Michael Drette. Gets a 6-10. That's a ground ball to the shortstop. That's Larkin. I believe he's a 1. But let's just make sure he is a 1. And that's a 9. I think that's an out. It is. So that's 2 down. And Chili Davis is up. And he gets a 2-5, which is a strikeout. And the Reds whitewash San Francisco. Oh, no, they don't. Uh, yes, they do. Yes, they do. San Francisco just got no runs there. So the score, the final score in game three is Cincinnati six, San Francisco nothing. Cincinnati got six runs on 11 hits, no errors. And San Francisco had no runs on just three hits and no errors. And we will see you for game four. But that's it for me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off.